TCS laid off 500 people last week in the IT industry. At the same time, IBM has laid off more than 100 engineers globally, 200 globally and 100 from India. Now, layoff in the IT sector is nothing new. But this very interesting news which came around all of this layoff, and that was OpenAI hired a neurobiologist. Now, this is interesting because while some of you are, you know, watching that negative news that people are not getting uh, jobs or they are getting laid off. IT giant TCS has decided to lay off over 12,000 job roles altogether, which means essentially slashing their global workforce by 2% in FY26. Here is a guy who is in biotech, and he's, in, he's in neurobiology research. He has 10 years of experience in neurobiology research and he was hired by OpenAI. Why would they do that? So that brings me to today's question. Why IT companies are laying off IT engineers while they are hiring the biotech engineers? What's really different here? So truth be told, of course, they hire IT engineers in bulk and that is going to go away soon because of AI. But to develop AI, the companies such as OpenAI are now looking at how actually the brain works. And they're trying to understand the neurobiology behind human brain because human brain is the most powerful organ in the entire world. And that means we can utilize or understand or have a better understanding of uh, the human brain and then apply it in AI. So that's one approach. But there are multiple approaches why the biotech companies as well as IT companies are now hiring biotech engineers and how can you strategize your career around this? I'm going to tell you. Now there are multiple approaches how IT companies are approaching biotech research and that is where we no longer have a biotech company. We are seeing tech bio companies hiring people like you. So let us understand the approach of these tech bio companies. The number one approach they have is of course take out all the neurobiological research which has happened in the recent last um, you know, 10, 15, 20 years and implement it in their AI systems. So that's number one. That's the reason OpenAI has hired this um, person and his name is uh, Akshay Jagdish. He's an Indian origin neuroscientist and uh, he has joined the Sam Altman's OpenAI. So that's the first approach. Implement the neurobiological research into the IT, that is AI. The second approach which they have is they're looking at, okay, how can we solve biological problems such as drug discovery or synthetic biology or gene editing, CRISPR. So all the data which they're getting from NGS, all of that, they're trying to use the, these transcriptomics, genomics and proteomics data using AI and bioinformatics. So that is the second approach. Now, the third approach is again very interesting. Now, this news just came, um, I think, two days back that Chinese scientists have uh, come up with a cassette. I hope you have seen a cassette. Uh, back in the day, it used to store 12 songs, six on each sides uh, in those cassettes, right? So the Chinese scientists have come up with DNA cassettes. That means on the film, they have imprinted the DNA strands and now those strands can store petabytes of data. So current today's uh, what we have the data storage systems are power hungry. We have to, you know, silicon based um, data storage systems, for example, hard disk or, uh, you know, uh, solid state drives. So all these consume a lot of energy. While this small cassette can have the entire YouTube, right? And retrieving is also very easy. Now, uh, this research is going to go main mainstream. I will uh, try to put the link in the description about this also. So this is the third approach. The first approach was human and applying the neurobiology into IT, that is AI. Second was using IT tools to solve biological problems. The third is storing data. Storing data is a real pain throughout the history of IT. Now the DNA data storage is one of the biggest pain in for the IT industry. And so data storage is the biggest pain and DNA data storage is one big hope. But 
there is an interesting fact about DNA data storage. It's not all roses without thorns because even this technology today is not mainstream. A lot of research has to happen. So I told you three to four approaches, neurobiological approach to AI, solve using IT tools to solve the biotech problems. And the third is data storage. And there can be multiple other approaches as well. For that, the biotechnologist in you has to learn IT tools. And you have to go in depth into your, if you are interested in neurobiology or um, recombinant DNA technology, uh, genomics, proteomics, synthetic biology, genome editing, all these techniques and tools are for the future. You never know a company of the future such as Perplexity, OpenAI or uh, uh, Microsoft, Google might hire you for their AI mission. So my message to you today is you will have to learn a few things which will make you future proof. While others will be afraid that they are not getting a job, you will be getting offers from these companies. So of course, you'll have to learn the mainstream IT roles, IT tools such as Java, Perl, uh, RStudio, Python, bioinformatics tools. Then you'll have to understand data biology, big data biology, data science, computational biology and neural networks, how exactly the today's AI works. Then, of course, there is a fourth approach also, which I think I should mention here. Developing software solutions for the biotech industry using the IT tools. So, you, of course, you'll have to, uh, you can design uh, in future laboratory information management systems, stock management systems, electronic health records um, powered by AI, uh, clinical trial management systems. All these softwares, again, can be developed for the biotech industry by you. Now, the question is how? How would you do that, right? The first precursor to create anything is learning about it. Now, I'm not here to tell you that please do this, please do that. You choose what you want to do. I'm here to tell you that what will work is something which will be make you future-proof as well. And that is data science, big data biology. If you have a good understanding of how biological data is stored, retrieved, analyzed, how you can use DNA systems to store data, how you can utilize IT tools to solve biotech problems, you are future-proof. You're making biotechnology future-proof, right? Then you don't have to run behind companies to get a job. And that's what I keep telling my students. Don't run behind companies to hire you. You become so valuable that they will be like, this is the best talent I can get. Nobody is better than this guy, okay? And that's what is my message to you. Learn artificial intelligence, machine learning, and biology. While the IT guys are getting laid off, the biotech guys are getting hired. And Akshay Jagdish is one such example, right? Many, many more people will get hired in the future if you're from neurobiology, synthetic biology, CRISPR, data biology, that is data science. So we have this course starting internship, actually. It's an internship with project it's starting from 18th of September, that's uh, data science. And then we have uh, on 30th of uh, September, we have bioinformatics internship. You can enroll in any of these. You can register. Link is given in the description. And then you can learn all of this so that IT companies start hiring you. And you know how much money IT companies have already made. And they are now eyeing the biotech domain. So if you get in and if you start working in this direction, you will be not just a biological engineer, a biotech engineer. You will be a data engineer. You will be able to create biology-inspired hardwares, computing, neuromorphic computing, DNA computing, synthetic biology for IT, and whatnot. Entire biotech sector is now the hotbed for IT, and that's why the next big goal for the IT companies is tech bio. And you can be employed there, or maybe you'll start a company in tech bio. So don't take this video just as an inspiration. Take it as a strategy. Take it as a path. Take it as a career plan. And then work in that direction. My best wishes, blessings, and support will always be with you. If you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to Biotechnica's career counselors. They provide you free career guidance uh, support. And of course, my email ID you already have, shekhar at biotechnica.org. Go ahead, explore the world, because I know you were born to win. All the best. Thank you.